It is time for tonight's Tank Takes. This is the segment where we take stories that fall a little off the beaten path of crime and justice, and we get our experts to weigh in. We've got a great tank on the show tonight. Is everybody ready? Our first story of the night, a man was arrested for skydiving off the Eiffel Tower. So we're calling this one Paris Shoot. The man entered the tower before it opened around 5 a.m., quickly detained by guards. He was able to get away and then he climbed to the top, jumped off the 1,000-foot landmark, landed in a nearby stadium, and was quick, quickly arrested for, uh, they call the charge, endangering the lives of others. So the question we're asking tonight, do you think he said, we on the way down? <laughs> John Phillips, I got to start with you, please. I, I had to pull up my phone to make sure this wasn't one of my clients. When you represent Naked <laughs> Cowboy and Joe Exotic and, and a host of ca crazy characters, yeah. uh, you, you got to check. And I know Steve-O just got arrested for something similar in London oh, no. promoting his comedy tour. Oh, I love uh, We've got a case against Steve-O. Is he a client um, of yours, John? He, we have a case against him. So oh, I've you actually have a case against him? him oh, he's hours. an adversary. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but, it, it, you know, it's it, it, you see these, they, they have to make the arrest because it's such a public incident, and then they tend to go away. Right. Yeah, this is geez. I, I guess the guy's okay. I'm just shocked he was all right after that parachute trip. All right, our second story we have titled convenient justice an alleged serial thief finally arrested after viral video shows him getting beat down by the 7-eleven employees that he was trying to rob for the third time in two days tyrone frazier walked into the same northern california 7-eleven trying to steal their cigarettes and uh, while he got away with it the first two times the workers had enough he loaded up apparently a trash can full of all different products along with the cigarettes and the workers decided to end the robbery Take a look. Oh, okay. oh, no, this is, it, it hurts you. Ain't nothing you can do, though. Ain't nothing you can do, man. Tell you stop police. Stop playing. No, 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 no. Ain't nothing you can do, man, until police come in. Oh, hey, hey, no, you, hey, don't, hey. Ain't nothing you can do, man. Don't do that. Don't do that, man. Don't do that. Are you done? Oh my, so the question we're asking tonight, would this have happened at Bucky's? Eklund Mercy, let me go to you on this one. Your take on the 7-Eleven beatdown. I I think that was, I don't think that was, I think that was like therapy. I think that he had enough, if he went rage room on him, I think that he just needed, it was more cathartic. <laughs> <laughs> than justice and uh you can see you can tell you can tell he's been annoyed for a long time and you can tell yeah in that video he was waiting for that chance uh uh kirk nurmi what do you say please well you know i understand it might have been a, a, a you know therapeutic for the for the victims in this case but i gotta remind we have a a justice system not a vengeance system and you never know what uh he could have come back with so um it's best not to take those kind of actions and just direct it to the police this is true john phillips what do you say please you know we have citizens arrest laws we have the ability to stop crime but i see a civil lawsuit that could arise for them going yeah. too far particularly in you know kind of america culture and counterculture but it it that's shocking yeah no it really is we um all right now for our final story that i don't know if i can even get this out without laughing uh, we're calling this one the sniffing suspect people online are outraged after this guy his name is Khalees crowder is back on the streets despite having been arrested more than 40 times this guy's a convicted sex offender and wait for it he was arrested most recently on august 6th for peeping into a home but now a viral video of mr crowder is what is making headlines because in the video he can be seen sniffing 
a woman's backside while she's browsing for books at a Barnes and Noble. And since then, more than 20 different women have reached out sharing similar stories of sniffing. Take a look. It's day 20 of 100 Days of Silly Dates, and today we're going to Barnes and Noble and getting Starbucks. Except I ended up being stalked and violated the entire time. It felt like anywhere I moved, he kept following me. So I recorded just in case he was trying to say anything or do anything to me. But I definitely didn't expect him to do this. Like, what the actual f And the whole time I'm thinking I'm fine because he hasn't said anything or touched me or anything. But then you notice that he goes over and does the same thing to this girl. And he'll crouch down low and pretend like he's doing something and then smell? I don't know. And the whole time I'm wondering why he's always around me. But this was our interaction. creepy and gross. So the question we're asking tonight, do you think he should have got his nose caught in a book instead? Oh, Kirk Nurmi, to you first, please. Well, Julie, let's let's hope the next time he tries that, he's at the prison library. I don't think it would end uh, quite so safely for him. So uh, that that's where I that's where I think he should do his book shopping in the future. I like what you're saying there, Kirk. Oh, we got to say a goodbye and a big thank you to our tremendous think tank tonight, Kirk Nurmi, Eklund Mercy, and John Phillips. Thank you all so much. It's been a pleasure.